Hi guys, there are so many products being used as dressing in wound care today. The focus of my discussion will be on the alginates. Natural complex polysaccharide from various types of algae form the basis of alginate dressings. Their activity as dressing is unique because they are insoluble in water. But in sodium-rich wound fluid environment, these complexes exchange calcium ions for sodium ions and form an amorphous gel that packs and covers the wound. They have been extensively investigated and used for many biomechanical applications due to its biocompatibility, low toxicity, and relatively low cost. Alginate wound dressings maintains a physiologically moist microenvironment, minimize bacterial infection at the wound site, and facilitate wound healing. Due to their absorptive capacity, they are appropriate for moderately to heavily exudative wounds. Why do I use this type of dressing in my practice? I use them for various reasons. After sharp debridement, where there is an intentional minimal or profuse induced bleeding, the hemostatic property of the alginates can usually stop the bleeding. They can be used for wound packing and can stay in place for several days. They're a good choice for undermined or tunneled draining wounds. Disadvantages of alginates include they require a secondary dressing. They can be too drying on a minimally exudative wound and sometimes they have unpleasant odor. Take note that they may have or they may leave fiber residue which may be flushed with saline solution. Looking at the literature on the alginate, there was a study aimed at comparing the efficacy and tolerance of an alginate wound dressing with a Vaseline gauze dressing in the treatment of diabetic foot lesions. 77 patients with diabetic foot wounds were randomly assigned to alginate or petroleum gauze dressing. Lalau et al. found that patients treated with alginate have significantly superior granulation tissue formation in four weeks of treatment, and there was less pain, and there was fewer dressing changes than the petroleum gauze group. In today's clinical practice, Alginates come in various form, including ribbons, beads, and pads. So before I end this talk, if you are a home health clinician treating post-surgical patients, having an alginate dressing in your bag is a good idea to help stop any form of bleeding induced during care or during administration of exercises in the home. In cases of a fall, where there is a skin breakdown, if your patient is an elderly, elderly patient who is anticoagulated, it may be difficult to stop the bleeding by using a regular gauze. In my experience, prolonged pressure at the application and the application of calcium alginate are usually sufficient to control or stop the bleeding. Thank you very much and I hope that you learned something today.